What's up everyone, welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Blog. And today we're going to look at Toy Fair stuff, but before I get into that, I do want to apologize for us being so late with videos. I obviously, I, I mentioned I was having computer problems. On top of that, I haven't been feeling well, and I was working for most of the weekend. And then yesterday when I had the day off, I was like, great, you know, I'll get some work done, get some editing done. Uh, the computer was working on Saturday morning, and then of course it wasn't on Sunday. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. So I, you know, had to reboot everything, redo everything again. And while that was going on, I decided to go see the movie Black Panther, which if you guys want me to do a review, I will, and I'll post it up like later this week. Um, I got a lot of cool, you know, footage of the El Capitan Theater and uh, where we went and see, seen it, me and my friend Madison, and it was awesome. I had a good time. And if you'll notice, I have a little bit of a different setup here because also on Sunday, um, a bunch of my um, like new furniture came in the mail, like my new desk, which is all built, and I have my TV here, my computer in front of me. It's like an L-shaped desk. I'll do like a room tour, uh, I guess, once I, you know, get my new bed in and stuff because I'm trying to get rid of all this old furniture I just don't have a lot of room for it the bed is like really big it's a queen size it's just too big for this room and I wanted to like simplify and plus when I clean you know I, I you know it's just too much to handle I have to move the bed to clean everything and with my back and leg and I just like I got to get rid of this stuff and plus I wanted to get like a memory foam bed because I figured that would probably help with my back and stuff too. So that's what I did and it all came in. My mattress is out in the hallway, leaning against the wall. It's kind of inflating because I guess with memory foam, you have to let it like sit for like 24 hours or 72 hours, something like that. And you have to let it like expand to its like fullest. So that's what it's doing out in the hallway right now. Uh, so I, yeah, and so my room's kind of a mess. Uh, you'll see my mirror back there. I just got stuff stacked all over the place. Uh, I'm just, you know, just trying to get by right now, but hopefully by next weekend, the room will be set up. All the new posters will be on the wall. Everything will be ready to go for the you know the Venom vlogs uh, continuation into the future with uh, with more stuff more videos more content thanks to you guys and thank you again for the thousand subscribers let's get into Toy Fair though real quick because uh, I could gush all day I'll talk your head off all day if I don't get started so uh, Hasbro unveils new Marvel Legends wave featuring Venom and Carnage from the upcoming 2018 movie of course, the image they're showing here is the uh, Venom you know, image from the third uh, Spider-Man movie. And I can't read who this is. It's like Colorbox, I think, is the people who posted this or made this. Uh, but I saw this image on uh, on Instagram, and I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, RY Collections, you can see their Instagram name. When I crop the photos, I try to keep the Instagram names in. So if you guys want to follow these people, like I encourage it. Look them up on Instagram if you see their names up there. Uh, all right, so that was the first image uh, I came across to set this up. So this is from Toy Arc, and I'll probably put their website link down below because a lot of these images, even though other people posted them, were just reposting Toy Arc. Uh, Toy Arc is a great website that uh, captures a lot of, you know, images of toys does a lot of great photography with toys and uh, and they get a lot of you know exclusives and, and you know f first looks at toys uh, because they know how to photograph and make them look pretty awesome so uh, yeah toy art posted a bunch of these pictures this is the venom logo this is gonna be like the box art that's the like font they're using for the toys uh, obviously we realize now that that is not the font of the movie the movie's going with more of a 90s look with like with a kind of more um, streamlined version of the 90s logo uh, but this logo I really really like I think it's cool it's very busy but like in a good way and you can kind of see some red uh, like tendrils wrapped around some of the the, the black in the in the venom name which I think is pretty cool it's like real subtle in there uh, but this are these are gonna be the box art the box art is gonna be pure white with uh, with this you know black uh, text on it and then like the webbing in the background so I wanted to show you guys this image because I thought it was I get I'm like a sucker for good ba uh, box art uh, so again you see the box art kind of here uh, they have like this Clayton Crane-ish type artwork behind them and you get the two pack now we've seen some of these before I'm gonna build up to the Marvel Legend figures so I can, we can talk about those uh, but for now we'll just kind of breeze through the ones we've already seen before uh, because they had them all on the show floor so again Toy Arc here had the picture of the two pack um, I don't know if there's gonna be more figures in this line there probably will be but I don't know for sure uh, at least for now. I, I thought they said that this Venom was a, a variant. I thought that's what Hollywood Reporter had reported, was that this was a variant Venom, which led me to believe there might be a single pack Venom at some point. Uh, but this may be the only way to get Carnage, or the only way to get this version of Venom. Um, even though these things have very little uh, articulation, like as you'll see here, uh, here's Carnage, a close-up of him, and uh, you'll see his arms pretty much just go up and down, and his legs go up and down. No knee bends, no wrist bends, no elbow bends, and I think their heads move. So it's like five points of articulation on these guys. Um, so perfect for like kids, you know. Here's the Venom one now, and you see him, his hands go straight up. Arms do not bend. He just kind of, da. Ah. But the tongue is like really long on this one. Uh, he looks awesome. They probably used, because you know Hasbro, they repaint a lot of 
figure parts. Uh, I know they made a Venom figure before, but I wonder if they use Hulk features because his feet look very Hulk-ish. Um, at least the, the mold they use for Hulk. Uh, and then here we have the 12-inch the figures, the Titan Hero ones. And we've already seen these again, but it was cool to see them there on display with their box art and stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys these. I'll probably pick these up. These ones I will probably buy. The smaller ones, most likely not. Um, but these ones I probably will just to add to my shelf because they, they just look cool. I don't know. I like... I like 12 inch figures like I just like the they, they have a real presence to them and I don't really care if they're necessarily super articulate or not I just want them as like decoration so I think I'll probably pick these up uh, these look pretty cool this one I wasn't sure about so it says Marvel 3d foam keyring venom series and you'll see there's like venom versions of a bunch of different characters including venom but you got like Captain America and spider Gwen um, and Loki and like I think Ghost Rider and jack-o-lantern so like some of these are like venom versions and some are these are little keychains I think they're gonna be in the mystery bags I think that's how they sell these uh, but I'm not sure someone out there who maybe knows more than me let me know uh, but it looks like Venom will possibly get his own key ring series and I thought that I was like oh that's neat because hey I wouldn't mind having a Venom key ring I'll probably just get the traditional Venom with uh, the Eddie Brock face showing uh, but for those of you out there who like variation there's a couple different versions of Venom as you can see here so uh, that was figures.com that posted that so if you want to see more pictures of what they post check them out on Instagram um, my my furry my foray uh, uh, me foray this is an Instagram account I saw that it was the only one I saw that posted this picture. I'm sure there are more out there now, but I was trying to follow the hashtags of Venom and Hasbro and things like that. But then I came across other ones like these pop figures. So I think Carnage and Anti Venom and Venom have been out before. They're figures 82, 99, and 100. But now we have figure 302, which is this one here, which is Gwenum. So they're going to do a Gwenum pop figure for those of you out there who collect pop figures. I have a couple like from the Supernatural TV show. And, uh, and I think like a couple Resident Evil ones and stuff, but I probably won't be picking up any of these or try to track them down. I just, I got to think about space, especially considering I just, you know, you know, get, getting rid of a bunch of furniture to get new furniture in. I got to think about space. Uh, so, uh, I just don't want too much on my shelf, uh, right now, but, uh, it does look cool. The Gwenum one looks cool. I like the use of pink and white on it. It looks really great. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and then here's a, a Nerdables posted uh, contest of Champions pop figure that'll be coming out, which is Venom Pool. So you actually get uh, Venom Deadpool uh, combination, uh, which is pretty cool. And I think this is the version, I guess, in the Contest of Champions video game. So Pop Games is uh, they're they're going to be branching out a lot, and Hasbro is doing this too, where they're going to make figures based on the Spider-Man um, upcoming Spider-Man video game from for PS4. I saw Mr. Negative and Spider-Man in the with the white spider. Like I love that cost. the design looks really cool on that one, and. Um, and it, it's like them in a two-pack or something. They're like three, three-quarter inch figures. But it looks like a lot of these companies are cashing in on the mobile games and other video games that are being made out there. So yeah, you could pick up uh, Venom Pool, which I thought was cool. I thought some of you guys might enjoy that. Um, now these are Diamond Select statues. Uh, these things are great. They usually average about $45. They're made of PVC. Um, I don't know if these ones are the same, and I noticed that uh, Toy Arc marked these TFW 2005, so I thought these might have been older, so if someone is out there and they are older, feel free to correct me, um, but I also saw someone else post these. This is uh, CJMN YouTube, and I saw him posting these with the hashtag Toy Fair 2018, and then I saw them in another hashtag uh, for Venom 2 at the Diamond Select booth, so I'm thinking these are coming out, and that these aren't uh, things that were released before, or maybe they're being re-released, I don't know, uh, but I've ne I haven't ever kept up with Diamond Select toys, although they make a lot of great stuff, I just, you know, blind spot sometimes. So this is an Eddie Brock statue, and like I said, average, on average, they're about $45 statues, which is great, uh, so I think I might be picking this one up, because this thing looks killer it looks really great and i have a close-up shot here too uh this is i believe also from toy arc and uh but also uh Siegeman youtube uh he posted them so i started following him on on uh on instagram because i saw him posting a lot of stuff from toy fair so yeah this is cool uh, i think the design looks great with the head splitting open looks fantastic uh and then of course you can't have a venom set without carnage so here's a carnage statue and again i believe he's going to retail for 45 dollars at diamond select you can buy it on their website you can have your comic store order them um, or you could probably pick them up at any convention that Diamond's going to be at, which is most conventions, so uh, especially the big ones. So I'm going to keep an eye out for these. I definitely want to pick up the Venom and Carnage for 45 bucks each. That's not a bad price. And if I have the money, I will get them because they'll look. I think they'll look good on my toy shelf. So yeah.
and pretty I'm pretty sure by the end of the year my shelf over there which is moved and we'll I'll figure out a configuration to try to still have it in the background if I can but that uh, that is gonna be full of Venom toys by the end of the year I'm pretty sure uh, so that that makes me excited <laughs> I'm like really happy um, all right so now on to the main event we have uh, here Jay's toy chest posted this picture of all the you know all the Venom toys these are the five Venom Marvel Legends figures so these are this is the series I like I said before when I we reported the first time anywhere between four and six figures and I was hoping they would go for the full six uh, but they gave us five which is still pretty cool and there is a build a figure a lot of people are wondering about that we will get to that here in a second because I want to show you the box art to show you where I got the information for the fact that there's going to be um, a build a figure uh, so yeah so first we have here you see Venom with the Eddie Brock head you have Carnage with the Car Cletus Cassidy head we have Poison which is uh, from Venomverse how cool is that a, a character that's only been like around for six months maybe uh, he gets his first toy and that's Peter Parker possessed by a symbiote slash poison alien from space from the Venomverse comic book so he's kind of like uh, like an amalgam of, of a couple different things and he uh, is the first thing Venom bites like in a major way in the Venomverse comic book so I thought this was cool and I wrote actually Ivan Coella the artist of Venomverse and I said dude I tagged him in the post I go look dude they made a figure based on your drawing like how cool is that and he was like lit up like a Christmas tree he was like this looks so awesome I can't believe it so that was pretty cool to see him like react in such a positive way and I think the figure looks awesome like it's uh, we'll get to it here in a second uh, we have Scream you know which is great and we'll talk more about her here in a second and we got Spider-Ham which I'm not gonna it's a cool looking figure but I really wish it was just put in a Spider-Man wave. I wish it wasn't part of this line because I, I don't want to own a Spider-Man figure. Uh, I really don't. And uh, But it looks like I'm going to have to because he's going to come with a Build-A-Figure part. Uh, but there is something that comes with him that will make him look more Venom-ish. So we'll look at that here in a second as we do the close-ups. Articulated comic book art at, on Instagram. They actually posted this really good close-up picture of Eddie Brock. Uh, you'll see you could switch the Venom head. We talked about that before when the first images came out, and they had the like the you know the symbiote going up around his neck. I thought, oh, that would be cool if they could you could take the Venom head off and put an Eddie Brock head on. Looks like we're getting Eddie Brock head, so that's really good. I'm glad we're getting that. But unfortunately, I, I now a lot of these are prototypes, so there's paint applications you'll you'll see and I'll show you some of them um, especially with carnage um, that aren't done yet and uh, maybe some of the molds aren't finalized yet maybe there's still time to tweak some things these figures aren't coming out until the fall uh, closer to the movie so we got some time they got time to you know make any last-minute additions uh, they're basically putting these on the floor to get feedback from fans and, uh, and hardcore collectors and they want to see you know how they can improve things it's kind of like a early test screening for a movie they kind of put some things out there and they're like alright this is what we we're going with right now but if there's something we can tweak you know they like hearing feedback usually so uh, the geek power here posted us really good close-up um, and in this picture I don't like the face <laughs> like I really don't he has the features of the comic book character he's got the buzz cut hair but he's got huge eyebrows and his face looks like he looks like um you know, like a claymation person like he, he looks like uh, you know like I don't know he looks too intense um, he, he almost looks like a what was that movie toy soldiers like that CGI soldier movie I can't remember the name of it but he just he looks like uh, he looks a little bit like Eddie Brock like he has the basic features of Eddie Brock but it doesn't look refined and uh, I don't know maybe with the movie hopefully they could do like a Tom Hardy head instead uh, but uh, because they got they did a really good job on the uh, the Paul Rudd likeness for the Ant-Man figure um, and the uh, Evangeline Lilly who I think she plays Wasp right uh, her their figures look great like the 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 faces look fantastic and they look just like the actors so hopefully they do something like that with this because I'm not really feeling this head now um, the Venom head I am though I like the Venom head so I'll probably on my figure when I display it I'll probably just have the Venom head on there uh, but then we have this one which is Cletus Cassidy now this head looks great uh, the, the grin is awesome uh, the eyebrows aren't too bushy they, the red hair looks great it bleeds into the uh, symbiote on the back of his head um, and then you see the carnage mask there at the bottom uh, this is by Marvel Toys uh, Marvel Toy News posted this so this is not a toy arc uh, picture this is one of their pictures I believe or they could be reposting from someone else but when I saw this I was like yes awesome and you'll see right there on the inside of his uh, elbow like or I mean uh, elbow inside of his joint there you'll see um, white you you see the paint has peeled from when they probably posed him because that paint looks pretty fresh and I probably applied it pretty pretty soon before 
uh, this show. And when they were out there maneuvering him, it probably scraped some of the paint off. So you can see that this is not 100% done. And that's the key thing to remember with these figures is that they're not 100% done and there's still room to improve. Uh, so next we have uh, the poison figure, which looks great. On his leg, you can see a little bit of um, of the paint applications kind of running. Um, I know some of it is supposed to mimic like armory type look and like and like veins kind of thing, like white veins and stuff. But there are areas that are kind of clumpy and don't look like they should be uh, painted in that way. Uh, so it looks like the paint maybe ran on some of these. So this is most likely a prototype. Um, and then you can see a little bit of mark. I, that could be like a lighting reflection, but there's something on the spider, like on his, like on the lower half of the spider, like right, right above his torso. Um, but this figure ult ultimately looks great. It, I think it's a cool looking uh, figure. And to get a Peter Parker villain figure is really cool. Cause I really liked in the animated series when they did spider carnage, which we'll talk about, you know, coming up soon. Um, I loved that version where it was like a, a, a tragic Peter Parker who has been forced to be evil. And this one is that, but he, there, there's no semblance of good in him. He's completely been taken over by this alien creature. Um, and so, uh, so it's, it's really neat. I, um, I can't wait to see him come back uh, hopefully in the next uh, part of the, the Venomverse saga that Colin Bunn is doing. So, um, and then last but not least, we got to look at Scream here. So I know a lot of people have been reaching out to me telling me, hey, you know, like people that are new to the channel, they're like, hey man, you need to talk about Scream. Apparently Scream's in the movie, you know, Scream's in a movie. But, you know, I got like, I think I got about six or seven messages between Instagram, Facebook, and then comments on some of the videos. Um, if, if you're new here, you, you got to go back and watch our old videos because we talked about Scream probably like five or six weeks ago. Like we talked about that, that IMDB posted that a long time ago where there was two actresses listed to play Donna Diego, AKA Scream in the movie. So I'm thinking that's why she's going to get her figure because, you know, Again, we're getting the counter, the comic book versions of the figures, not the, um, not the uh, movie versions. But I think they're still trying to r release figures that uh, will be characters in the movie. So I think this is not 100% confirmation, obviously, and the IMDb still could be wrong, and I know there's two different actors. I saw pictures someone sent me, and I'm, I'm blanking on his name. I'm sorry, he sent me on Instagram. Uh, he said, go look at Michelle Lee, who's one of the uh, women who was playing Scream. He said, go look at her Instagram in November of last year. She was getting leg molds done. Now, she is working on a ton of projects because she's a stunt actress, and she's awesome. So she's working on a ton of things, video games, movies, everything. So it's hard to say what those were from if she was getting molding done for venom or if she was like on something else um it's hard to say but uh, it's clear to me that maybe she'll play one half of of the character maybe the human half or the stunt part of scream and then the other uh, although she's only listed as donna diego which that makes sense to me too she's like tough chick military um and then they cast someone else to be uh to play donna diego slash scream and it's uh sarah laroque or, or something like that i can't remember her name right now but uh but yeah both of them we've already talked about this in a video we've already speculated on it when we hear more about the character we'll make another update video on it but for now i just wanted to let everyone out there know who's new that we have covered this character there's a lot of characters uh that we may have spoiled for the movie so go back and watch our old videos for sure um but uh, yeah, the screen figure, she looks awesome. And then here in the box, you can see it's a little bit distant. I don't know if I have a, I do have a closer image in the next one, but it's blurry. Uh, so it says in the top corner, build a figure on the white box behind her. It says the build a figure. Um, and you'll see Spider-Ham next to her there. Uh, the build a figure uh, is Monster Venom. That's how they list it. And a lot of us are speculating. Eddie Brock on uh, on Facebook and I, we were talking about it a little bit and, uh, and some, one of, some of his followers. And we were talking about how, you know, is this... Is this like a uh, movie Venom? Like, is are they calling it Monster Venom? Because remember, they describe uh, Venom as a monster movie. That's how Ruben Fleischer is describing it, like Jekyll and Hyde. You know, uh, Doctor, you know, Mr. Frankenstein. Like, he's he's trying to he's comparing it more to monster movies as opposed to comic book uh, and superhero movies. And so uh, and so that's why you know the tone of this movie is going to be a lot different than most other comic book movies. And uh, and so. Monster Venom could be what they're calling the movie version just for the toy sake. We don't know, but it wasn't shown on the floor. It's just saying that that's going to be the version. It also could mean ultimate version, whether it's the first ultimate version with Eddie Brock or the version that uh, fights Miles Morales in the Miles Morales uh, Ultimate Comics Spider-Man book. Uh, that one was really good. It was just like this big creature. You didn't really know who was on the inside of it. He was like a paid hired gun guy to like wear the symbiote and go after Miles Morales' dad. So, um, 
that could be something because he looked like a monster. So there could be different things. And there was also Lee Price, who was in uh, uh, Venom, Inc., and he became like a big monstrous version of Venom where he absorbed a bunch of symbiotes and he grew to be like 10 feet tall or 20 feet tall or something like that. So a lot of speculation of what they mean by monster venom so we'll just have to keep speculating for now uh we won't know for sure until you know we get more finalized versions uh of pictures of these characters uh and then last but not least we have spider ham which again he, i'm gonna guess he's gonna come with the torso of the of the monster venom because he's so small compared to the other figures he's probably like half the size of the other figures and i i'll be honest I, again i don't care to have a spider ham figure i really wish he was shoved into like the spider-man set and they gave us either another symbiote or they gave us like, you know, just like a, a human character, uh, whatever it is. Like I, I would have just rathered pretty much anyone else other than uh, Spider-Ham. Uh, but uh, he does come with the pork rind head, which is like uh, the, the, the venom p possessed uh, version of Spider-Ham. And uh, you do get that head to make it fit more in the symbiote line. But I would have rather the figure be the, the pork rind figure and then you could switch the head out for Spider-Ham's head. At least that, if it was all black, um, you know, may, that would have made me make entice me more to buy it because then I'd be like, well, then it's it is a symbiote then from head to toe. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not 100% sold on this one. Here's a better image from Marvel Legend series on Instagram, and that's a better close-up shot of them. And in the background, you can see SPDR, which is the giant spider mech uh, that the girl pilots from the Spider Verse storyline, um, and uh, and and that is going to be a build a figure in the Spider-Man wave. Uh, but I, I don't have any. Pictures of those. This is just the Venom show. Although I do have an honorable mention here for Lasher. If you see this last picture here, this is Lasher, and Lasher is uh, he is from um, the uh, the Five Symbiotes, and he's someone who could potentially show up in the movie. I don't know, but he's in the latest wave of Spider-Man Marvel Legend figures that come out at the end of this month in February, and I went ahead and pre-ordered it on uh, BigBadToys.com. I've uh, I think I've ordered one or two things before from there, and I know a lot of YouTubers like you know really promote them and, and then, you know, try to get the word out on Big Bad Toys. So I figured I'd give them a shot and luckily they had Lasher for pre-order. So I was like, you know what, just to complete the symbiote collection and make me feel better uh, about how, you know, like I'm going to have a spider ham later. I'd rather like push spider ham aside and put Lasher there. So I went ahead and ordered Lasher. So when that toy comes in, we'll take a look at him. I won't eat the box of it. We'll just actually take a look at the toy and talk about him. Uh, but for now, this is what this is all I have. These are all the pictures I was able to find for uh, for Toy Fair. I thought Hollywood Reporter or Heat Vision or someone was going to like do a full you know exclusive thing on it. At least that's what I thought I saw and what we read on the, la the last episode where we talked about Toy Fair. But nobody posted anything, and it was just like bleeding cool. And a couple other websites posted articles on just Marvel Legend toys in general, but no one just did like a, a whole Venom thing. Except maybe the Venom site probably did. I haven't gone and looked, but I haven't seen anyone just post about the Venom stuff. So. At least I'm doing it for you guys. So if you guys can't find anyone else out there that's just talking about the Venom stuff, uh, at least I'm you know doing my best to cover it for you. So let me know what you think of all these toys. I mean, obviously, we've got a lot of Venom merchandise coming out this year. I'm very excited for that. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be clearing off the toy shelf. I got an extra box for my closet. I'm going to put everything in there. And I'm gonna, the toy shelf's going to be a little empty right now. And then throughout the year, we're just going to fill it with, like, little, you know, the statues from Diamond Select and the figures and the 12-inch figures and all that. And we're going to try to fill it up with Venom stuff uh, to make it, uh, you know, more complete with, uh, with what this show is all about. So, uh, and then those of you who did ask me, hey, are you going to, finish are you going to stop doing the venom vlog after the movie comes out and to that i will say 100 percent no i will not stop doing the venom vlog uh even if i run out of comics to talk about hopefully the venom sequel will be announced we'll, we'll have to follow the sequel um maybe we'll switch gears and we'll talk about um silver and black i don't know i don't really want to talk about silver and black or the morbius movie i want to just stick to venom but we'll find something to talk about and we'll keep the venom vlog going maybe less often maybe once a week instead of five days a week but we'll keep it going no matter what i promise you guys and uh, and thank you guys again for the 1000 subscribers uh, i will have a lot more videos coming up this week now that i have a semi-decent setup right now but I am going to be working a lot, you know, reconfiguring my room, um, and it'll give me less time to film. But I, I, so I apologize for that, but I'll do my best, and we'll get videos up to you guys ASAP. And if you want a Black Panther review from me just to fill the time, let me know down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll see you in the future. Peace.